A pleasure to me all at last. And well, let's just say the last parts that you might have noticed where I introduced a newer Track Builder Unlimited stunt kit is more than just apparent right now. I really gotta say, I'm pretty proud of a lot of you for being full-time loyal people whom have come to this channel specifically to see content like this happen every single day. But now we're gonna take it to the next level. Big and bigger these kids can possibly get. Such as this. That's right. Today we are gonna take a look at yet another really big Track Builder Unlimited Series stunt kit. And this is a really big one. I really gotta tell you that. This is the Ultra Boost Kit, which is not necessarily as recent as what we've seen with this. But as far as I'm concerned, this thing can be its own thing. But this happens to convert into possibly an entire set of different possibilities for you to work with. Four examples are on this box, showcasing all the different pieces that you can use for various different purposes. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take it into overdrive, get a little circuit race put together with all these parts, pieced together into one unique set. So let's go ahead and unbox. Everything that is included is present at this very moment. You got two boosters, two of these pieces, two 180 degree turns, so looks like I don't have to bust out anything like this. Nah, those things are a little flaccid. Then you got these custom pieces, which are made to be converted into any sort of loop shape or corkscrew shape or any other sort of inversions that you like. Straight tracks, connector bits, a small straight track piece, and these flipper pieces, I feel like that that's what they're supposed to be. Considering that I've seen a bunch of Track Builder Unlimited kits by this point. And of course, we cannot forget the instruction manual. This is, after all, how you can in fact build different custom layouts that are preset according to Mattel. So, we're looking for a circuit race challenge, and that would be number four. So, let's go ahead and flip to that exact page. And, well, let's see, here we go. This is the number four of all the presets that Mattel has made. So, let's follow these instructions and get to building. As you can see, it's all finished. We got ourselves a nice little circuit race challenge set up by placing it in a nice fully enclosed layout. No open ends from the start or finish. Just simply whip around two 180s and long straightaways, coupled by both of these pieces, of course. They're pretty much the magic. They technically snap together when you put them together like so. So this means you shouldn't have to worry about anything loose. Also, you got the flipper pieces, which 
help to make the cars run smoothly without going too fast. They're basically powered by 2D batteries, which I've already installed. Well, sound-wise, they're a lot quieter than a good majority of other boosters that I've had lately, so I'm pretty confident about this whole thing. As for the models I've selected, well, a nice array of 18 cars, all pieced together. The goal, make it around the track three times. If not, then well, you're just going to be left out here. I feel like that right around this mark is where I'm going to allow for these models to cross through. When they make it around three whole times, this will be where they're technically a winner. So, let's go ahead and get it on. So, we're going to get started with an accelerators model known as Pile Driver. Nice, light blue. Should be able to cruise around here in no time at all. Let's go and get the boosters started. Oh! Well, first try. Not great, but not bad either. Well, second time is a charm. So that's basically one win out of 18. Let's see if we can try and get the other 17 up and running. Second, Limousine. A much older model than usual, but yeah. There you go, two wins. Car de Asada. <laughs> well, flipped over. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. One fail. That's where the losers go. Fourth model, Boombox. This one's got a pretty nice low profile, but does it do well on these exact curves? Let's see. Uh, it's kind of dragging too much from the sides, especially as you can see. But try again. Well, keep slowing down. Sorry. New for 2022, Dimashini Veloce. Sure, that's how you pronounce that, right? Let me know if that's incorrect. Three out of five. Looks like we're doing pretty good so far. Here we have the McLaren F1 GTR. Yep. Because there's multiple versions of this now. Another win. Rapid response. This one's a nice little emergency vehicle. It's not really great in most cases, but how does it do here on a circuit track? A little slow, but Hey, it works. 
Time for an X Racer horseplay. Yep, I really love this color scheme that they put on here, especially with the wheels. X Racers, clear plastic. That was awesome. So, here we have ourselves Fast Bump. It's one of those models that belongs in the junkyard, supposedly, but is instead still alive and is going to take on a circuit race. On the floor now. That's our first flop that went directly onto the floor. Well, the victory lap, pretty much. Now going down to the second row with the Track Stars model, Muscle Speeder. Oh! Went upside down there. Okay. One more time. Oh. And it caused some damage back there. Let's um, get that fixed up. Okay. One more time. That is how you do it. Here we go next with Roadster. We're definitely getting a huge streak here of winners. So, time to go with Buzz Off. Yep. It's not like another Buzz Saw model known as Berserk. But it still does pretty dang good on this exact layout. Now, time to go with the color shifters model. The 2008 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution with a nice red and yellow palettes with some orange spots like on the roof. Nice job. First try, and well, can't really argue very much on that part. Another Acceleracers model, also driven by diesel pork chop rigs, Jackhammer. This was also the first that we could see him drive alongside the Old Smokey. We're definitely doing some pretty amazing progress here, but now it's time to move on to the 62 Ford Mustang concept. Yeah, this is one that not many people are familiar with as opposed to most other Mustangs. <coughs> Let's see how it works. That was satisfying. <laughs> All right. 47 Chevy Fleet Line. Not many cars like this end up going through boosters, and well, I can demonstrate why. <laughs> well, just as I suspected. Well, it just flips and flops all around. That body design's not great for boosters, but. Oh well, let's try one more time. Oh, broke off the flipper again, so finally got a third fail of all of them. 
Can the last two, though, handle it? Let's go ahead and try out the Ferrari 333, which is much like with some other models I got. Oh, looks like we got one stuck on the curb. Yeah. A square-esque body shape. Very square indeed, especially with the spoiler you see here, the pointed corners. Not great for 180 degree turns like this. Oh, second time. How about let's go backwards, see if that changes up. And barely completes one lap. So four have failed. Everybody else, until this, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, pretty much. One last car. And, oh! Second flop! Oh, let's go pick that one up. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just like I would have showcased before, I mean, in this episode there's been at least one other flop you might have noticed, but hey, now we got another one that went on the floor. And done. And that pretty much goes to show a nice 14 models have shown to be rather successful I'm especially surprised that some models I got including the Skyline 2000 GTR fast bump and even limousine and the McLaren I'm really surprised that those especially made it around the track successfully and without any issues really a couple ended up on the floor a couple have flipped over and a couple have caused some pretty bad damage so, I'm especially proud to say, this was a nice, satisfying purchase. I'm especially glad to have track builder kits like this, just to continue making content, left and right. And don't worry, because just as the instruction booklet has shown, there are some other configurations that you can make. Do expect to see some of these in action, or maybe I could even make my own at some point later on. That's just part of the creativity factor that is within this kit itself. So, thanks for enjoying this follow-up to the last issue of Hot Wheels Hilarity. And I will see y'all next time.